So last week we did a video on a good tips and tricks to sell your Mustang. Now the reason for the video is twofold. First of all, I've been selling Mustangs for a lot of years. I was just trying to share some of the things that have worked for me in the past. The other thing was I was looking for a new Mustang and saw a lot of really, really bad ads. Now the reason I was looking for a new Mustang, I sold my red 2018 and wanted to replace it with something else. And I really didn't know what I wanted, so it was kind of all over the place. My friend Jim sent me this ad for this Boss 302, and as soon as I saw it, I knew it was exactly what I wanted. So I've had a lot of people ask me, why did I get rid of my 2018 Mustang? Did I have problems with it? My car had no problems. The reason I got rid of it, honestly, was I just didn't drive it that much and I wanted something different. If I was gonna drive a 2018, I usually drove Smoke Show, and my car ended up sitting most of the time. So I didn't drive it much. I had no transmission problems. My car did not have the tick. I actually sold the car to a friend who loves it and is already planning on more modifications for it. So why did I buy a Boss 302? Why did I buy a car that was five years older? Well, I kind of wanted to get back into a solid axle car. I love the IRS, I mean, ride quality is amazing, but there's something just raw about the solid axle cars that's a lot of fun. Plus, I wanted something more limited production, something more unique. I was looking at GT500s, I was looking at Roushes. Bosses were on my list, but it had to either be gotta have a green or grab or blue. They're the only two colors I wanted, so it had to be a 2013. Like I said, my friend Jim sent me this ad, I saw this car, and it was exactly what I wanted. It's low mileage, it's nicely modified, but it still maintains all the original boss look, which I love about this car. And I am gonna do some changes to it. I'm gonna change the wheels. I love the original look, but I wanna do something custom on it. But for the most part, this car is really, really nicely modified. I don't plan on doing too many different things to it. So when I picked up this car a week ago, I had posted a couple teaser photos on social media of the car that I was getting, because people were asking what I got. And then of course they were asking, what's done to it? What are your plans? Well, plans, like I said, I'm not doing a heck of a lot to it. As far as what's done to it, I kind of teased everybody and told them it just had basic bolt-ons. Well, it does. And like I said, turbos do bolt-on. Now this is one of the things that really, really sold me on this car. Now this is a Fluid Turbo Concepts Twin Turbo Kit. Now you might not be familiar with Fluid, it's one of the smaller turbo companies, but it's owned by Lund. And everybody knows Lund is one of the top tuners in the country. Now, if they're gonna make a turbo kit, it's gonna be a solid kit. That is twin 62 millimeter precision turbos. It has an air to water intercooler. And on E85, made just under 800 horsepower to the rear tires. Now, right now, I'm just driving around with the turbo actually turned down, literally just on wastegate, and it's still a ton of fun to drive. Now, in addition to the turbos, it has a bunch of other nice modifications. It's got a Borla S-type catback exhaust on it. It's got Ford Performance lowering springs. It's got a Corbo harness bar and an entire rear suspension from BMR. It also has a carbon fiber drive shaft and an MGW short throw shifter. And of course, the tune is from Lund on their end gauge. It gives me all kinds of possibilities for custom tuning, as well as data logging what's happening under the hood. Now the car was tuned by Lund Racing and it does have several different tunes on it. One of them is the cammed tune. Now we offer Lund tuning here at CJ's and we offer that tune. A lot of you guys have asked what it sounds like, so here's a sound clip. Boss 302 is definitely a car that was on the bucket list, and I always wanted a V8 turbo, so really this car is kind of the best of both worlds. And with a high quality kit and high quality tuning by Lund, hopefully the stock block sticks around for a while. As far as the car goes, like I said, I'm glad I got a Boss. These cars are rare. I mean, Grabber Blue is the rarest, in my opinion, the best color in these cars. And I only made 435 of them, so hopefully the value stays as well. As far as modifications, like I said, we're gonna do some stuff to it. Nothing crazy, but we definitely have some videos in mind, so keep it here at tjponyparts.com.